Today's our first day of owning the property. The first thing I need to do, there's a lot of city processing, so the first thing I need to do is pull this out of the moratorium. Uh, it's also known as um, having a residential exception. So of the 18 acres that we're purchasing, I that get two acres that are uh, allowed to be built on. So for it's a six year moratorium. And two acres is plenty. We're just putting a house, but it also includes the roads. And I've learned a lot. I've actually been to this building a few times, talked to a lot of people here. Uh, so the first step is go in and pay. Uh, it's going to be close to $3,000, which is a lot of money, but um, it's all city processing. They need to come out and make sure that the loggers logged the property uh, properly uh, so they didn't log in any wetlands or anything like that. Once we get that thumbs up, then we can start pulling permits, building the house and all that stuff. So this is really step one and it takes a little bit of time. So I wanted to get in on the first day and get my foot in the door, so to speak. So here we go. Step one, purchasing our first piece of equipment to clean up the property. It's a shredder chipper, uh, gas powered, 14 horsepower. Found it on, I did a lot of research and I found it on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, guys used it a couple times and now he's trying to get rid of it. So I'm gonna go meet with him and um, he lives pretty close to the property. Uh, I'm gonna go check it out, see how it works. And if I like it, I'm gonna buy it and uh, hopefully get started on this thing. So pretty excited. There's a ton of wood piles. Uh, they're called slash piles that need to be, uh, you know, shredded, chipped. So that's going to be a fun project that's gonna take probably quite a while. So I picked up the uh, wood chipper and it's currently towing behind the truck. It's a little weird because I can't see it. Uh, it's just a really big truck. <laughs> and um, it's the first time I've done any sort of bumper pull uh, it weighs 400 pounds, so it's not super heavy, but um, it's just weird looking back there and not seeing anything. Uh, I guess if I saw it bouncing down the road, that would be a bad sign. But anyways, I'm heading to the property, really excited, first day to work on it. And as I met the, uh, the person who sold it to me, he was telling me that I can actually dump these slash piles for free. Uh, I need, a, of course, I need a dump trailer, and uh, it's about 20 minutes away from the site, so I have to really factor in the time it's gonna take to like run back and forth. Is it worth it? I don't know, so I'll have to do the math on that. But that's pretty cool, because I, did, I thought I'd have to pay uh, to dump this stuff, which is why I decided to shred it or chip it. Out at the property, <clears throat> got my new, chipper shredder pretty excited about that <clears throat> we have all these piles tons of piles this is a smaller pile here um, but there's you can see some massive branches in that one so it should be interesting to see how I do this <laughs> so there's the the shredder chipper and we're gonna just take it one branch at a time. So what did we learn today? Today we learned that a 14 horsepower chipper is not strong enough to chip wet wood. So I was out in the sprinkling, drizzling rain trying to chip wood that was obviously wet and um, I had to unjam the chipper like I don't know in two hours I probably unjammed it 15 times so but I gave it two hours worth of time and it created a small pile 
Uh, I think the solution is really to cart this stuff away to, you know, the dump. Um, so I'm going to get a dump trailer, hook it up to the truck and load it by hand at first. And I think I'm probably going to need to get a little mini excavator so that I can load the dump trailer with all the slash piles. So that's the new plan. <laughs> we are getting a dump trailer so we can haul all this stuff off the site. So, I'm down here and uh, they've got all sorts of trailers. Uh, it's pretty exciting. They're gonna hook it up and put a tarp on it, and a spare tire and a bunch of other stuff. But um, there he is in the background, working the forklift. All right, let me catch you up a little bit on what's been going on. Went to the county building and did the residential exception for the property. Then I met somebody on Facebook Marketplace to buy a chainsaw. Chainsaw wasn't exactly working, so we went to the Ace Hardware, got a part, fixed it, bought it. Then I headed down to this trailer um, dealership and I bought a trailer. So I'm ready to load this thing up and dump it and I will be ready to go after that. So it's been a um, educational day and the guys here at, uh, what is this called? Trailers Plus in Olympia, Washington were very helpful. So now I'm headed, uh, now I'm headed back to the RV. I've got to do a torque on the tires because they're brand new and you're supposed to torque the make sure that the torque is at 110 pounds right away then i'm going to go to the property i'm going to load up the trailer i'm going to dump it and this has taken almost the whole day so i might only get like one or two dump runs in and that's what's going on so far so next i should be back at the rig torquing the tire the lug nuts then down to the property load it up and off to the transfer station. So Ashley's here, look at this, the first branches. No, actually the second or fourth or fifth. Good job, Ashley's here helping out. Sasha's over there running around and we have all these piles to clear out. So it's the end of the day, it's been a long day and we're gonna see how much we can get into this trailer. It's been working for about an hour, maybe just less than an hour and we didn't quite fill up the trailer with our hands, right? With our muscles. And we made a dent in this first little pile. <laughs> so we could probably we could fill this up a little more tomorrow morning. And we'll maybe get that pile down to half. So this little trailer is pretty cool. I like it a lot. We're gonna leave it here and we're gonna get it tomorrow morning, finish it up. Last night, Ashley and I loaded this up. I'm gonna try to fill up the rest of the trailer and then head to the dump for the first time. We made a good dent on this first little pile here and I'm gonna keep going, try to get this thing filled up. 
heading to the dump for the second time today and what I've learned is it takes about an hour and a half to fill the dump trailer up uh, so with by hand. I think the next move is to start using a, an excavator uh, with a thumb to pick up everything and uh, put in the trailer because an hour and a half is a long time to, to load the trailer. So, all right, I'm on my second dump run and we're making good progress. Okay, we are here to get our third dump run. We are gonna go after this pile and we got the girls here, so that's pretty cool. I'm getting a nice early start this morning. I uh, wanna get a dump run in, the dump opens at nine. So working the math backwards, I wanted to get out on the property and take care of loading up the dump trailer taking it to the dump and getting it getting a dump in i want to be there right at nine o'clock so it's raining it's dark but that's okay we're gonna get it done So that took me between, that took me about an hour, but it usually takes me like an hour and a half. I got some bigger logs. There's some spots in there, but I'm just tired. This is hard work, if you couldn't tell. And uh, I think if I continue doing it this way, I'll either throw my back out or just stop. This is my fifth, I wanna say fifth load. And three, four, wait, four, five. Yeah, this is the fifth load like this. And, uh, I need to come up with a better solution. <laughs> I mean, I could eventually get it done like this, but whew, four loads a day. I think, I think there's a better way to do this. So I'm gonna go take this to the dump, come back, and uh, I'm gonna think on that, how to do this smarter. Work smarter, not harder. this baby haha <laughs> I think I've come up with a solution to the problem of hand loading. I've been hand loading this dumpster here, or this uh, dump trailer, and killing my back. And I mean, I've only done five dump runs, but it's obvious when it takes an hour and a half to fill the thing, and I can't even lift a lot of this wood, that I need something a little stronger. And look what just got delivered. Komatsu excavator. It's a mini excavator. I'm very excited about this. It's got a thumb on it, blade down here, some tank tracks. I don't even know what all this stuff is, is called, but um, I uh, found this, found a really good deal on Facebook Marketplace of all things. And I'm gonna learn how to use this. I've never driven this uh, a day, not one hour, not one minute. So. I'm gonna run the truck up to the top of the hill and then I'm gonna take the excavator up there and start loading the dump trailer. So pretty excited. <laughs> 